after the shock of my ex-husband's abandonment began to wear off and I started to settle into the process, both emotional and legal, of divorce, it sort of felt familiar. Now, I had never been divorced before, so that was all brand new, but I had faced loss before. I had grieved before. And what I realized was that in many ways, divorce, it's like a death. It's a loss. And what's the natural response to loss? Grief. Now, when it comes to grieving after divorce, you're grieving so many different things. You may find yourself grieving the person that you thought that they were. Now, this is especially true when there was some sort of an event, an affair, discovery of addiction or a hidden life. And all of a sudden, you're faced with the reality that the person that you thought you were married to isn't really the person that they are at all. And so you're grieving. You have lost the person that you loved, even if they're still standing right in front of you. They're no longer who you thought they were. You may also be grieving the future. You know, it's natural when we are married, we have plans. We have this imagined future with our partners. We talk about kids. We talk about retirement. We talk about vacations. We make all of these decisions and plans and sacrifices for the future. And then with divorce, well, that imagined future, you realize it's not going to happen. And so you grieve that loss. And this can be especially difficult when you see other people in your life and you see their futures continuing on as planned and it feels so unfair that yours isn't. And there's this weird sense of incompleteness, you know, like you put down a book in the middle of it and you weren't able to finish it. You may be grieving the family and life that you wanted for your children. Maybe you came from a divorced home and you know how your own parents' divorce impacted you and you never wanted that for your kids. You wanted them to have something different. Or maybe you came from a strong family, an intact family, and that really impacted you and you wanted your kids to experience the same. Regardless, it's hard because what you wanted for your children and what they're now facing, well, they're two different things. And so you're having to grieve that life that you pictured for them. Perhaps you're grieving who you were, either before the divorce, before the marriage, or before you even met your former partner. Everything that we experience changes us. And sometimes, well, it can be hard to accept some of those changes, especially if they were hard lessons. And maybe you feel like it's made you bitter or less trusting or more closed off than you were before. And so maybe you're grieving that young, trusting, playful person that you were before all this happened. You may be grieving the loss of companionship and shared history that you had with your spouse. Especially if you were together for many years, you most likely experienced many milestones together. New careers, new homes, new cities, children, children leaving. All of those things are so important. Those are what mark our lives. And now you no longer have that person in your life to share those moments with. And so we grieve that shared history, those inside jokes, all of those, just those memories. You used to share them and now they're yours alone. And that's a loss. Perhaps you're grieving the lifestyle that you had before divorce. 
and that could be financial. It's expensive, both the process and splitting up a family home. Or maybe it's simply the shared friends that you had or going together as a family to certain events. And now all of that has been fractured and spread. And so you're grieving the life that you used to have. Grieving after divorce is normal. It's expected, even if it's rarely talked about. The only way through it is through it. Give yourself permission to grieve. Acknowledge the losses that you are facing. Mourn the losses. Honor those shared memories and those milestones and what all of these things meant to you. Give grief space, give it time. You have lost so much, but that doesn't mean that you've lost everything. There is life yet to live.